Hello, Jawad is here. In this video, we are going to learn five tips plus two bonus tips that I wish I knew when I started. Let's learn. The first tip that we want to talk about that maybe you've been carted with a lot and you will be frustrated because sometimes when you're working and you're double clicking on some family, something like this, it will go to edit family and it will break the flow, uh, break the flow of your work and it is really annoying sometimes. You can prevent from that, you just need to go to the file menu and then option and in here we have in user interface we have a part double click option you can specify the, uh, the function of double click in any environment for example for families i'm going to specify that i don't want to do anything for me for other elements you can specify that for example i turned off the uh, search part two click on ok and now we are good to go and now when you do that when you double click on something it won't go to the edit family and it is really much better for your flow of your work shortcuts are great in any software and can work much faster and better with them but sometimes some shortcuts in revit are not that smooth and i call them long cut for example when you want to access a split element which we have in here you will have to press sl and you need to use two hand to do uh, to do that for yourself but by pressing KS on your keyboard and searching for a split element, you can assign new shortcuts to it and you can optimize your shortcuts. For example, I have some uh, optimization for you. For example, you can uh, switch SL to SS. When you press SS, you will have the split element or for your dimensions, you can have DD and for your align instead of al you can have aa and these are some optimization that you can do that will make your workflow much faster and more smoother sometimes when you're creating 3d detail or isometric views you will create some 3d sections in your view but because you want to have the exact orientation and you want to have the, uh, you want to lock the orientation for further modification and to prevent from any instant uh, accident to for, for changing the uh, orientation you can lock your view how you can do that you just need to go to the view and in here you can lock the view let's uh, save uh, orientation and lock the view and now when i press shift and uh, uh, mouse wheel you can change the orientation and now these are great for having 3d dimension for example let me set my work plan in here I press we this is the this is my shortcut for set work plan and now i can press dd another <laughs> shortcut of me of mine and now you can create great 3d dimensions and you can do much more with this lock orientated and you can place it on your sheet and you don't need to worry about the orientation the next part is about do some cleaning for your plants for example in reality when we have some walls with these layers the end of the wall is not going to be like cake and you need to clean how we can clean it and we can wrap our finishes around the structure part you just need to select your wall and in here go to the edit part and make sure to check the wrap part and then in here at the end you can select which part you want the exterior part or interior part to wrap for example let me select the exterior part click on ok click on ok and now we have our exterior part which is wrapped around the around the layers and now you can do the same thing for interior walls but sometimes you just you want that situation for your openings too to do that you need to select your wall again and do the exact thing but this time for add insert you can specify both or interior or exterior let me select interior this time click on ok ok and now you can see our interior part is wrapped but there are some tips about the uh, amount of wrap that you will get that which is a advanced topic in family creation that we will talk about that in future videos most of you know how to use section box but we have some uh, we have an, uh, a special section box that it, it is much easier to work with for example let's go to the ground floor and now let's see that we want to create some decoration or we want to create some do some modification to here i just need to select them 
and then go to the modify and click section box in here it will adjust the section box around the element that you've selected and you don't need to adjust it every time that you want to work with some places for example let's go to the ground floor and let's say that we want to work with this part you just need to select it and then go to the section box and now you have those parts in your section box and it is much easier in comparison with just creating section box and adjusting it in any project we have some uh, same elements that we have all of them in other levels too for example in this project my exterior parts and my windows are same for uh, levels above so i can copy them you can select them and you can go to the front and you can copy them one by one but that's not the best way to approach that just need to select them and go to the modify and in here click on copy to clipboard go to the play paste and then click on align to select a level and select the levels that you want to have your elements in for example let's go to two three four and five and six click on ok and now in a second you will have your elements some elements that you haven't selected them but they will uh, go and they will be copied because they have their host the only way is to delete them afterwards for example i don't need these uh, doors in here so i need to delete them manually and that's the way you can copy elements in different levels with just one click when you're creating your sheets you will create your you will do some visual settings to make your work and your plan uh, beautiful and good looking so but after doing the, all of the settings you don't need to do those settings in other levels too for example when you've done some visual settings in ground floor you don't need to do that again in other plans you just need to go to the view that you've done your visual setting and go to the view tab and in here click on view template and then click on create template from current view you will name it for example tot and then go to the views that you want to adjust uh, you want to assign this visual settings to for example this one and in here in properties tab click on view template and select the one you've created and now you can see in a second we will have all of those settings in here which is great and will save you lots of time and if you want to know more about view templates i have a full video on it you can go to the description and can find the link and if you are new to Revit or if you are an intermediate user and you want to do a full project in Revit, make sure to watch this video that we will do the, a full project from 2D to final documentation.